We are the, the Jacobson, Jacobson Project. Project. Hey everybody. Okay, it's Friday night. I just actually talked to you. Hey Lloyd, come on. He's obsessed with squirrels and chipmunks and mice and anything. Uh, we just got up here and I just finished up that video, the garden shutdown expansion video that we were working on last weekend. Pretty funny, it was 80 degrees, like I said in that video last Friday, and now it's 36 degrees up here and it's pretty chilly. So we have the fire cranked up in the, in the Pathfinder. Betty, my stepmom, got that fire started before we got up here. So thanks, Betty, appreciate that. Next weekend, I think I'm gonna get this stove operational in here, temporarily cut, cut through the roof, and then we're going to have that heat source so we can work up here. Hey, get out of there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add pipe, cut, cut a hole through the, the roof, and then we'll have a, a wood stove operational in here. What I'm going to do tomorrow in this, this episode is I'm going to cut in the kitchen, the other side of the kitchen, uh, window in this in this area. This is the the Macintosh window installation. So Jamie and and family, Sarah, everybody, uh, if you're watching this, this this one is your window. So appreciate that they they actually gifted us a a window that they didn't use. It's a gelled one, I think, window. And so we're going to install that right here. Uh, that's going to be above the counter, above our, our range, our cooking space. So that's going to be a, a nice little addition and add a little more natural light into this space. So I'll check in. I guess we're going to not do much tonight except for get, you know, have to work on putting plastic on the windows in the Pathfinder tonight so we can actually heat that, that uh, trailer up enough to survive in. It's fine right now, but it's got those louvered windows that crank out and a lot of air comes through. So on the way up here, there was there was snow on, on the road. I actually saw a vehicle, the first vehicle in the ditch on the way up. So it's a little early for that, but that time of the year is, is coming up and you got to be careful when you're driving. So stay, stay safe out there, kids. Okay, here's the window. Just measured it up. It's 45 and a half inches wide. We're going to add half inch on each side for shims and then an inch and a half on each side for that framing. So that comes out to 49 and a half. The height is 28 inches. We're going to add a half inch on the top and the bottom for shims and a half inch and a half on the top and the bottom for the framing. And that is 32 inches. So 49 and a half wide by 32 inches tall. That's our cutout space. Now I just gotta figure out how high I want this thing to sit. Okay, the one thing I gotta say about designing on the fly like this and being flexible with your materials and, and your, your game plan, actually, is uh, the difficult part is to visualize. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this, this window is going to be sideways. And what that's going to allow us to do is have cabinets above it. And I had always pictured having a full pantry on this side. You know, the bathroom is going to be down here. Then we have a full pantry and then we would have narrow countertops. 
with a with uppers and lowers. And then our cooktop would be in this area. So it's gonna allow that if it's if this window is turned sideways, it's gonna give give us a nice panoramic view. It's gonna allow these cabinets to be lower, and we're gonna have a hood on top of that too. So all these things I have to consider when I'm when I'm measuring up and getting the correct height for this thing. I do want to have our countertops a little bit taller because I'm a tall guy. So I'm thinking that uh, the standard counter height is right about 36 inches, I believe. So I want to go an inch or two higher than that, just so I'm not bending over as much when I'm working. Kim can deal with working with a little bit higher countertop. Um, so I think what I'm going to go with is 38 inches, between 37 and 38 inches for the counter height. And then I want to have a little bit of a backsplash. I don't want to have this window right down on the counter. So I'm thinking I would go four to six inches higher than that. I just talked to Jake about this a little bit ago and he, he thought that was a good height. So then I'm going to go 30, 38 plus six, um, or 36 plus six. That'll give us some wiggle room. So right around 42, I guess. 42 for the height, the bottom of the window, and then I'll go up 32 inches. Lots of considerations. same trick you've, you've heard this from me before we're going to laminate boards around the outside and then we're going to go first I'm going to drill in holes to laminate those boards on we're going to laminate boards across over to this stud stiffen up this wall so we'll go from this stud all the way over to this stud on the outside and then we're going to laminate around you know up and up on the sides and then we're going to box it in and when we box it in, that's what we're going to use shims and get this thing set in and, and uh, screw the window into those. I don't know, get down. That's sharp. Get down. Very curious. <laughs>
99 minus. Just kind of a scrubby piece here, but this is all boxed in. Now I'm going to do the, the usual trick. Use the weather shield wrap. Wrap it, staple it on the inside, wrap it around on the outside, staple, and then I'll run some tape around the exterior to kind of seal that up after the window is in. Okay, skipped ahead a little bit on you guys, but I got moving and I didn't want to stop. I ran into a little issue because I didn't have enough uh, weather shield paper, so I just used the weather shield tape on the outside, but I have this thing installed. I have the insulation put around. It's obviously it's shimmed and screwed in on the sides and the top. This thing opens up real nice. Got it somewhat cleaned up, but it could go for another, another cleaning. Still need to put the screen in, which is sitting right there. So, once again, I want to thank the Macintosh family. I want to thank Jamie, Sarah, Grace, Sienna, Lincoln, and Jude. Thanks guys for the window. This is going to be great. It's going to be above counter. This is where our range is going to be. Um, so we'll do a lot of cooking here. We can see, you know, we can see the critters out in the outside. So let's take one final look in the outside. Like I said, I kind of ran into, I didn't have any weather shield paper, this stuff. So I just had some extra tape. I taped the heck out of it. So probably overkill, but it's sealed up nicely and uh, looks great. Lots of glass. So this is north facing. As you can see, lots of windows in this thing now. Lloyd, get out of there. Um, there's gonna be, when we pop the top on this thing, there's going to be three more windows too, so uh, real bright inside. Looking good. Love it. Last of the window installs for a while until we, probably not until next spring and unless things change, but we won't be doing any more window installations for a while. So thanks for watching. See you next time.